Face the Lord to all of you. Hope you all are good. And in my last video, I have been talking about repentance, the forgotten doctrine of salvation. And yes, it is. It has been forgotten these days because of many people are as they are chasing after some self-desired thing. They make uh, use of. Uh, they might twist the scripture and they make it use of convenient the way they find it convenient they, they do likewise there are many worldwide organization who support even this but um, but to truly know the truly what the bible says we find truth in bible and every word of bible is true and jesus spoke about is he is a messiah he is a savior and about repentance uh, like I have been t telling about it, there's a change in heart, change in behavior. The moment you accept Jesus Christ, it comes with repentance. It comes with godly sorrow. It's it comes with knowing the doctrines. Even we cannot um, make uh, the Trinity as separated. We cannot distinguish one Trinity, uh, this person, the Godhead, over the other. Like I have been telling in the previous uh, previous um, part, I have given already two parts. Yeah and uh, jesus and paul they 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 came to repentance like john the baptist was making a road for jesus and when jesus came and he taught about repentance that repent for the kingdom of god is at hand and uh, yes the reason he wrote this gospel uh, account uh, uh, that that we may believe that jesus is god and he's the son of god and by believing in him we may have life it lent that is life eternal forever to be and in order to achieve that um, salvation we need repentance it it faith believe and repentance they work hand in hand and we cannot make it uh, once uh, we cannot sometimes we may interchangeably use this term but it has a separate consequence so a separate usability and in a changed life that what when we believe when we accept christ we have a changed life we have changed behavior we talk differently to people we are not the same uh, that we go after drunkenness that we go after uh, addictions or we go after any other kind of worldly lust because so that and we may not be boastful we we might be boastful later but when we are born again when we accept christ when we repent that is a term used uh, many people say it is a conversion then whatever it is it, we call it repentance yeah and yeah uh, and godly sorrow when we have this godly sorrow we treat people uh, as as our first task is uh, to evangelize and and when we say that um, someone is suffering someone has uh, someone is deeply in, exhausted from the world or someone needs our help then we must have this godly sorrow not according to the what the world gives not according to the riches or financial needs or the desire of the uh, of our wants or uh, whether we are in deathbed whether we are bedridden all these things may come to pass but when it's about godly sorrow we think that what we have become insufficient of god to please him and we know that there are many people like us who uh, who need christ and that where it comes repentance that where it comes godly sorrow and uh, yeah there is a verse in um, to be strengthened uh, the inner man the stature of the fullness of christ we need to uh, have the mind of christ we need to have be fullness in christ jesus had uh, not only cleansed us but he has overcome also our inner weaknesses when we say that we are unable to find repentance but we have the desire to repent the jesus as an inner man he comes and he fights with our weaknesses the holy spirit guides us and relieves us from all those the, the moment we take a first step to christ he comes us he takes a thousand steps towards us and that way he helps us through repentance if we want and we are unable to repent for it there are some misconceptions about repentance that many would claim that uh, repentance is unnecessary for salvation there might be some religious belief tradition who say that only good works can bring us salvation and they, for, they fail to recognize both faith and they say that we have received grace through faith by jesus and there is no need for salvation there is no need for repentance but that is very much untrue and true believers um, turn to god only through repentance and if they are not repented then they are not have truly been born again and there is another misconception uh, other put repentance before salvation they say that we must we need to cleanse our life before we have to repent and uh, yeah we may to make all things in organize all things in according to that in line so that we may be trustworthy when we go when we come to the phase of repentance or salvation we may say that um, we have done a good job 
but uh, that is not true uh, jesus is is the one who takes care of that and when we uh, come to repentance it is not because of our own works that lead us to salvation it is because of who died in the cross who, who was buried and resurrected and who has the authority over our soul uh that is a continual process after we are born again we have been sent to justification one yeah instant there is an instant change of at salvation and when we believe at the cross what happened and we know that there were many deliverance exchanges that took places and yeah this cleansing process of god in our lives can be slow can be fast but uh, but he will but god will always try to cleanse us from inside out so that we may not sin against and we are driven by the spirit will always do what he wants we listen to him and through his sensitive voice and everything will work out good for us yeah and uh, and and the least and the most important is there should be a confession and repentance if we do not confess with our mouth and that he is the lord and he is able to cleanse and he what he is able to do his greatness is so much but if we are not confessing it to ourselves or we are not confessing it with with a mouth with a mouth or even declaring it to our society or community then we are feeling some sorts of um, our uh, sanctification process that means that we are not doing uh, that good work yeah so uh, confession is very much needed even when we are trying to confess that lord you are my god and i have come to you deliver me from this evil deliver me from this flesh and blood and uh, lead me towards your salvation and that that is where confession and repentance comes and uh, yeah it produces victory over sin and because uh jesus is one victory and yeah through him him has way and whatever we do is out um, for his glory so yeah if you have not uh, if you have fallen short of uh, something means like we have fallen short of glory of god we have fallen short because sin dwells in us and the one that can overcome is jesus and he's the one and with him we can overcome so if you are uh, someone who is uh, Uh, who has not yet received Christ or you have received Christ but you have need to examine yourself more and more in a deeper level so that his you can know be intimate to Christ and like godly sorrow you can eventually go and see the things if you're still entangled with the things of the world you need to make it right with God right now and keep godly sorrow of the of his heavenly kingdom that how it should be and what and what we see through the mind of Christ and we should th- we should see through that perspective that how Christ sees in us and wants the best of our life okay and um, yeah this was all and uh, truly repentance is necessary and god bless you all have a blessed week ahead and stay in the uh, glory of Christ and yeah be stay blessed amen